So we got this praying mantis egg case from Home Depot and I'm pretty excited about it because they're supposed to be defenders of the garden. But when I was looking online, I didn't want to just hang it up and walk away from it and let them just go anywhere they wanted in the garden. I wanted to kind of direct where they were supposed to go. So I looked online for some bug containers, but a lot of them had these bigger holes that they can get out of. Or they were ridiculously expensive and I was going to have to wait for them to come and I don't know if the egg's going to hatch by then, I don't know. It says they hatch anywhere from one to eight weeks, so you never know how long it's going to take. So I thought I would find a way to upcycle a bug container. So I went to Pinterest and saw some DIYs, but a lot of them included a big screen, like it's a window screen, and I don't want to spend that much money. So I found a way to upcycle one of these juice jugs, apple juice jugs, just empty, take the label off. Um, and then just using like an old butterfly netting that we had instead of the screen. Instead of having to go out and buy window screen, you can just build it with a butterfly net. Um, I had looked for an extra knife in the house, but we don't have one, so I'm going to use one of these. And is you're just going to cut a hole out of the plastic bottle and tape it. Now, you can probably use scissors at this point. Um, like I said, I had looked for an exacto knife in the house, but I couldn't find one. I can never find anything in my house. So you just cut it out and you're just basically using this to make air holes um, for them. Any duct tape will work, black, gray, whatever. I just happen to have gray on hand. Then you're just gonna take the butterfly net and cut it off. Knitting. These are kid scissors, so they don't work that great. There we go. And this was just like one of those $1 butterfly nets from the dollar store and once you cut the netting off you can actually use these as bubble wands um, you can stick them in the bubble soap water for the bubble and they make really good huge bubble wands so you can upcycle those afterwards so then you're just going to cut the mesh to be the size of the hole you need right, so you just kind of measure it eyeball it whatever you want to do rip it though because otherwise they'll get out. Down there. And again these are kid scissors so they're pretty terrible. Okay. So now you have your piece kind of cut I think I'm going to go get nicer scissors and make a nice square out of this. And I'm just going to duct tape it down to hold the pieces. And I pre-cut some duct tape just so I had it all ready. And I'm just going to duct tape it down on the sides. And they can't get out. And I'm going to put the little egg inside the container. And right now, before I seal it up, just because it's easier to get it in there. And then I'll show you when it's all done. And I'm just going to stick the egg casing right through there. So these guys, when you get them from Home Depot, they come in a package that has like a cooler pack in them to keep them cool. 
and I think that's so that they don't start hatching in the package when you're getting them. Um, but once it starts to get warm out, I guess that signals to them that it's time to hatch, which is why they don't know if it's going to hatch between one or eight weeks. It depends on how hot it is and how warm it is in your area and what time of year you get them. I'm not really fond of touching it, but there it is, full of little bugs, ready to defend your garden. So you just stick them in there like that, nothing fancy to it. And then put your last piece of duct tape down to duct tape down the edges so they can't escape. All the holes are pushed down on the duct tape. Now the reason I like to use one of these types of bottles is because when they do hatch they're very little. They're not going to be able to get out of this mesh but you can open the lid and they will crawl out and then you can put a few in each of your garden beds instead of having one egg sac for each garden bed you can put a few from the same egg sac into different garden beds and disperse them that way. This also keeps them a little safer from the elements. You can just hang this with the egg sac in it up on one of your trellises or you know put it near the garden or even on a tomato plant you can put it. Uh, but then you don't have any control when they release. So once you've completed it you can put it anywhere you want in the garden. I just put it up on top of this birdhouse that we have and we're going to leave it alone and come and check on it every once in a while and see if the babies have hatched. This is day three I think in the garden and so far Nothing is happening, but he's still there, so that's good. We just had a huge torrential downpour, and I came out here to check on them. It's day four, and this little container kept them absolutely dry, which is amazing. So they still haven't hatched, there's still no activity. But it's about day four since we put them in. We still have them maybe a week, up to three weeks to wait. Oh, it sounds like it's gonna rain again, but yeah. I'm quite happy with how dry this container kept them. We'll check on them in a couple of days. So we're probably on week four or five, I think week five now, week five, week five of having these praying mantis eggs. And so far, it's still not doing anything. We have no praying mantises, no sign of them hatching. I know it says four to eight weeks but I had hoped it would hatch way sooner than that. Um, I'm putting water on it in the morning to mist it, but it's just not doing anything so far. So we'll check on it again in a couple of days. So we're on week six for the praying mantis and nothing is happening. Uh, the reason I'm doing this video really late at night is because we are leaving to go on a week-long camping trip and I'm not sure if I should bring the praying mantis with us or leave them here. If I leave them here and they hatch, they could fry in the sun and starve to death. 
and even though my mom is watching our cats for us, she will not bug sit praying mantis. So it's looking more and more like I'm going to have to bring the container with us while we're camping because we are currently on week six and they still have not hatched. So I will post another update once they have hatched or if they haven't hatched by the end of the summer um, to let you know what's happening with them. But for right now, there's no new activity on the praying mantis to report.